A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 21st July, Sunday. On the front page, you have four new governors appointed. So, Anandipen Patel has been moved from Madhya Pradesh, being the governor of Madhya Pradesh, to Uttar Pradesh. And other governors also you can see have been appointed to West Bengal, Nagaland and Tripura. Then this is German envoy. RSS is a mass movement. So this is, a, this is German envoy Walter Linder who says that as a German he was conscious of its history during the 1930s and 40s. So it's called a mass movement in India. RSS which is headquartered in Nagpur. It, he says it was part of his attempt to understand Indian mosaic. So it's a special interview with him so about the organization. On page 8 you have here, Hyderabad gets facility to sequence 30 genomes a day. So this is next genome sequencing facility fourth such facility in the country which can sequence 30 human genomes a day has been inaugurated by Union Minister of Science and Technology Mr. Harshwardhan at the Center for Cellular and Molecular Biology which is a CSIR lab in Hyderabad. So it, it costs around 1 lakh rupees to sequence one genome using this facility. On page 9 you have cholesterol banned in animal food industry. So experts called, call it a significant move in targeting development of resistance to the antibiotic. So cholesterol has been banned from being used in animals. And this is MP yet to form a tiger protection force. So state has the highest number of, has recorded the highest number of deaths due to poaching from 2012 to 2018 of tigers and it has yet not formed the tiger protection force. Then on page 11 you have paradise in peril. Western tourists give a wide berth to Kashmir after Pulwama. So after the Pulwama terror attack, major nations continue to advise their citizens against traveling to the Kashmir Valley. So against 13 lakh tourists in 2016, the first six months of 2019 have recorded only 3.54 lakh tourists. And this is draft education policy robs states of power, says CPIM. So it said that the draft national education policy encourages centralization and commercialization of education. And this is release our sailors, India tells Iran. So India has reached out to Iran over the 18 seamen on board in the detained oil tanker. So, India has reached out for the release of these 18 Indian crew members. So, it's a British oil tanker seized by Iranian forces in the Strait of Hormuz. So, it was it said it is illegally uh, transporting oil. And USA also has a standoff with Iran here. But the, since Indians are on board, India has reached out to Iran. On international page, you have the same news. Iran defense seizure of UK oil tanker. So Iran says the vessel collided with an Iranian fishing boat after ignoring distress call. So that is why it has been seized. These are the reasons being given by Iran. On business page you have government in talks with foreign lenders for loans to MSMEs. So small and medium enterprises. So Indian banks are not in a position to provide enough capital to small businesses is what government officials say. It requires $14.5 billion in credit which is required to millions of small firms. So government is in talks with foreign lenders for the same. Then on Sundays you have this FAQ coverage, frequently asked questions. So there are important issues picked up which have been in news over the week. So today the first one is, what are the advantages blockchain offers? So this is a very important topic. It has been in news for more than a year now. So it says, what is the potential of this foundational technology and how much can be tapped and what, is, what are the hurdles? So it's a complete detailed coverage given on blockchain. It's very, very important. And this is with the house panels so this is regarding how a number of bills have been passed recently without scrutiny without being sent to parliamentary standing committees so it talks about why parliamentary standing committees are necessary 
so that is very important and this is how will india contribute to lego so lego stands for uh, uh, this uh, observe, you know, gravitational wave observatory so india has this lego two lego detectors which are there in usa and one has been established in india too so you can see laser interferometer gravitational wave observatory so here you can see we have established one lego observatory in india lego india project is expected to join the international network in the in a first science run in 2025 so this is being constructed you can see so us is uh, working on this which also called indigo as lego is the name for the observatories in usa there are two such observatories at livingston in louisiana and hanford in washington and now we have illigo india which is been set up so what is the need to have another detector and what what are these gravitational waves what are its sources why to study them so this is very important coverage on ligo then on sundays you also have the science and technology coverage so here one important article is yes we can indeed we must restore forests so this is regarding forest restoration and the outstanding example of reforestation in philippines is given so that's very important which you can use in answers to and this is ebola vaccine tested during epidemic saves lives in congo so preliminary data from vaccination in congo suggests the vaccine has 97.5% efficacy in preventing ebola so this is the then on the last page you have new species of shark squirts clouds of light so this is a pocket size pocket shark found in gulf of mexico which is a new species found now so it has this pouch near its front fins which squirt little glowing clouds into the ocean so it it has a uh, luminous liquid which squirts out from the shark species so this is being discovered now so it's said to be only the third out of more than 500 known shark species that may squirt luminous liquid so these are the important headlines for detailed coverage of current affairs you can visit our website asha.com thank you